Good afternoon to my Lord present here. I am from Team Think by from Vimgyo High School, Electronic City. So the project I have created falls under the theme of accessibility, and the project name is iSmart. In the modern world, we see that blind people are facing many problems. For example, they face a huge hassle in in locking the window with a lock and a key. They also need to be safe from internal hazards like fire, short circuit, LPG blast, etc. They also need to navigate in and around their homes while avoiding obstacles. Moreover, for any current smart home device to work, they require an active internet connection, which is still a distant dream in many parts of the country. And so comes the solution, iSmart. iSmart is a specially designed smart home for the visually impaired. It consists of three microwaves which are connected to servos, motor fans, PIR sensors, and gas detectors. They don't require it. They don't require internet to work because they can't communicate using radio. They also don't require continuous power supply because they can run a phone battery and USB to main supply as well. This makes it an excellent solution to be implemented in India. So let me show you the project. So this is the main door microbit. So this is the main door and this is the main door microbit. And let's pre and, and if the resident wants to enter the house, he or she has to enter the password. So the password in this case is A B A A B B A and then they hit the microbit logo. The door opens automatically. So this is the functionality of the servo. And then 7 seconds later, the door closes. If the resident wants to lock the door, he or she has to press the buttons A and B together. That locks the door. If an intruder is outside the home and they want to and, and if and they have to enter the password, the intruder ob obviously doesn't know the password. So he or she will enter a password like A B A B and then they hit the microbit logo. The door doesn't open because the password is incorrect. So that's a safety feature. Now let's see the bedroom microbit. So here is the motion detector. This is the motor fan. This is the servo. And this is the microbit. So let's turn on the microbit. Once we turn it on, the motion detector detects my motion and the servo opens. And then a few seconds later, the servo closes and the motor fan turns on, as you can see. Now, if you want to turn off the fan, you can press button B. What button B does is it will turn off the fan and open the servo door so that the resident can go out. If the resident wants to close the door or turn on the fan, he or she can press button A. That will restart the fan and it will close the door. So let us turn off the fan for now. In the study room, you can see a servo and a gas detector, a PIR motion sensor and a microbit. So let's turn on the microbit. So now that it's on, the motion detector will detect my motion and the servo opens. To open the door, we press button A and to close the door, we press button B. And the gas detector here acts as a safety feature which will buzz an audible alarm in the bike room once it detects smoke. Let's say the resident turns on the fan and forgets to turn it off and the resident is outside and wants to lock the door because he or she is going outside for whatever reason. Now let's, now when, or she, when he or she presses the, uh, lock, the lock buttons, the fan turns off because the main door microbit sends a radio message to turn, turn everything off and the fan turns off. So that conserves power. So I plan to develop this project in the future by powering this project with solar energy. I also plan to add a mobile robot in this project which would assist the blind person in his or her day to day activities. So now let's get into the code. So this is the code for the main door microbit. So as you can see, I have added a logic for locking the door for pressing button A, button B. There's also a function password re-entry. Code for iSmart Room 1. So here you can see that I've set the servo angle to zero when on start. And then in the forever loop, if it detects motion, and based on few other parameters, it'll change the angle to 90. This is the is this is the code for iSmart Room 2, which has pretty much the same logic except for the gas detector. This is the code for the audible alarm. I hope this project brings sufficiently impaired people into mainstream life and gives them a much more comfortable life. Thank you.